Hello everyone. Today, in this video, I will show you how to fix the SharePoint site address is not valid error in Power Automate Flow. The context of this video is if you have developed a Power Automate Flow that creates a zip file in a SharePoint Online or OneDrive location, and that Power Automate Flow has been running over the many months or years, then all of a sudden, you will notice that your flow is not working anymore. In that flow, one of the vital steps is to download the file that is supposed to create your zip file where you have used send an HTTP request to SharePoint. This part of the flow doesn't work anymore. Microsoft has added additional validation to create or download a file using the send an HTTP request to SharePoint action. To fix that, whatever the way you follow, it won't get fixed until you replace this send an HTTP request to SharePoint action with either a normal HTTP action or HTTP with Microsoft Enter ID. Then, you just pass the parameter to your HTTP action or HTTP with a Microsoft Enter ID action. You will get the details from my blog post, which I will mention in the comments section of this video. Then, you just execute your flow again. Your error will go away and your flow will continue to work as is. You will have a new zip file created in your SharePoint document library, and you will have a zip file created in your OneDrive. These zip files will be created automatically using the Power Automate flow. You can see the screen, how it is working, and creating a zip file automatically. Let me run and show you my flow where I am facing this issue, or you will face it. You can see my flow run failed. It threw an error. The error is that the SharePoint site address is not valid, but don't confuse this with the usual SharePoint site. This is an internal media URL where the API handles file processing. Now, let's expand all the actions from the flow. You will see that this error is coming from the send an HTTP request to SharePoint action, which handles the file downloading job. Recently, Microsoft has stopped supporting this action for the SharePoint file downloading. To fix this issue, what I did was create another copy of this flow where I have removed this send an HTTP request action to download as a zip file action and replace this with a normal HTTP action. You also can add HTTP with Microsoft Enter ID action as well. You can see how I am adding these actions. As I have already added HTTP action and configured this, I am not adding it again to showing how you can add it.
You can see the configuration of the HTTP action and how I have configured it. For the detailed configuration, along with their source code, you can watch my other video on how to create a zip file in SharePoint using the Power Automate flow, and you will get the source codes for this complete flow from my blog post. Then, I am testing my modified flow, which will create a zip file in SharePoint and OneDrive locations. These are the files I'm going to zip using my Power Automate flow. I am ensuring that before executing the flow, both the folder in SharePoint and OneDrive are empty. I mean, there are no zip files before executing the flow. I am running my Power Automate zip file creation flow manually in test mode. Once my modified or fixed flow ran successfully, I can see two zip files got created automatically, both in SharePoint and OneDrive sites. Here, I have not explained each step of this flow, as my focus is to fix this flow error. Basically, I have two versions of the same flow, one with the error and the other one with the fixing error. You can see this in the demo. I hope you liked and enjoyed this demo and learned something new today. If this helped you, please consider subscribing to my channel. In the upcoming days, I'll come up with many trending videos on Microsoft's latest technologies, like Microsoft Copilot, Gen AI, Power Platform, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Pages, SharePoint Online, Artificial Intelligence, and many more techniques. Kindly be with me and help me to grow on this journey. Thank you.